you can hear in your in your playing style i think your pianistic background right. in a certain way definitely have you heard that before <laughs> yes well it's funny because it's sort of the wrong way around because more i've actually been more interested in, in piano music in the last few years um it's funny because I'd always taken a deep interest and appreciation and um, love for piano music. One of my ragtime was my first influence in Scott Joplin, and I wanted to learn his stuff like the Entertainer, Maple Leaf Rag. And I was, um, as I already mentioned, my piano lessons weren't so successful, but I'd still kept this stuff in the back of my mind. I, I certainly hearing Scott Joplin at the age of like six or seven um, influenced me in some way to influence my um, my years later as a musician. So just pretty much within the past, um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure I can answer exactly how I got exposed to it, but more contemplative, neoclassical, contemporary stuff like Chili Gonzalez, Ryuichi Sakamoto, Keith Jarrett, um, um, Oliver Arnold, the piano players who do sort of stuff that's inspired by classical. Most of them study classical music, most of them study some jazz, but it's sort of, it's an amalgamation of a whole bunch of different influences, but it's still sort of their own thing. And it's, Largely more um, diatonic, somewhat diatonic music, sort of film music sounding. Um, I've certainly been, been um, inspired by Ryuichi Sakamoto's film scores. Um, but in general, yeah, like some, some of that kind of stuff, like the Japanese stuff, the French Impressionist stuff, um, I have been very interested in as of late. Um, and really one of, my, one of my goals, how deliberate I am with this depends, but is to try to get this type of contemplative um, impressionistic, even though I don't really like that word, but that contemplative impressionistic um, approach to the banjo. Um, as I said, it's not always deliberate. I feel like a lot of my compositions come from just sort of what I've been inspired by recently. I've, there was never like a crystallized moment where I'm like, I'm going to compose piano music for banjo. I'm going to be a piano player on the banjo. Um, but I think just in recent years, I haven't been listening to as much bluegrass. I haven't really been, I still keep up my bluegrass chops. I try, I mean, it's something I, I think I need. Um, and I wouldn't be playing anywhere like I am today if I hadn't studied Earl Scruggs and Bill Keith, Tony Trishka, Bill Fleck, Noel McKinley, all those people. But yeah, more, more recently it, I, I would, I would, um, I would give the, I would give the responsibility to piano players for influencing how I sound these days. And Oates Codes is certainly more of a piano like record. I remember Jamie Stone, my producer, by the time we finished the record, he said, yeah, you, you wrote a piano record here. <laughs> so yeah, it's generally, I, I feel like, you know, you are what you eat. Recently I've been more influenced by piano music and I, I've sort of found a voice. I found a way that it works out on banjo. This, this instrument is typically thought of being short and plunky and not, not very much sustained, but I've set it up. I've set it up nice and warm. I've 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 worked very hard to get this warm sound, and I'm trying to my best to um, sort of invent a new style, a pianistic approach to this to this wacky instrument. <laughs> 